In this experiment, we will coat a strip of copper with copper metal using electroplating method. For this, we will need a plastic or paper cup filled with water, copper sulfate salt, spatula or an ice cream stick to mix the salt in water, two copper strips and a 9 volt battery connected to a battery snap and crocodile clips. Prepare an aqueous solution of copper sulfate by mixing a spatula full of copper sulfate salt with half a cup of water till it is dissolved. Bend the copper strips around the rim of the cup such that their ends are immersed in the copper sulfate solution in the cup. You can add some more water to if the ends of the copper strips are not immersed in the aqueous solution of copper sulphate. Attach the crocodile clips connected to the 9 volt battery to the copper strips. You will soon notice there is a coating starting to form on the negative electrode. Let's take a closer look at what is happening here. The process of depositing a layer of one metal on another material or metal through electricity is called electroplating. When electric current is passed through the electrolyte, which is the aqueous solution of copper sulphate, the copper sulphate salt breaks down into positive copper ions and negative sulphate ions. The positive copper ions are attracted towards the negative electrode which is the copper strip connected to the negative crocodile clip. These copper ions from the electrolyte or copper sulphate solution form a coating of copper on the negative electrode. As the amount of copper in the electrolyte decreases it gets replenished by the copper strip connected to the positive terminal. Essentially, in this process, the copper from the electrolyte gets coated on the negative terminal and the electrolyte gets replenished with copper from the positive terminal. 